even though this character kind of, uh, honestly, I think kind of slept on for what the character brings to the table. I'm not saying like he's going to be some sort of sleeper hit in the meta. Who did he? Yeah. Yeah, he has some stuff. He's uh, got the stuff. Like his new mechanic to swallow Gordos is so big for him. Also, Gordos themselves have a larger hitbox, so they're going to be a bit more potent than prior. Uh, do you know, by any chance, if it's still the same amount of damage to knock it back? Or is it more damage now? I don't know if they've changed that at all. Yeah, because I, I heard like a rumor that like, it, costs, it, ta it takes more damage to knock it back, which would be also really big for him. But um, regardless, man, Ike is so, so powerful, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah, Ike still maintains a lot of the strength that's made him like a noteworthy character all the way back in Brawl. But... Most notably, like, his Nair is, like, lightning quick, and he's still able to space incredibly well with Thor Nair, and now a bit of a different up air that's a lot more uniform to the rest of the Fire Emblem cast. Yeah, and with that, with that new Nair, it, uh, they're all bit very spammable, but there are ways around it, like, such as parrying and stuff like that, or getting out of the range. So it really, it really comes down to if Helper will know when the right time to parry is. Yeah, but he's not going to be able to parry if he's not standing on the stage. That counter was out for a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, counters linger. Yeah, they're, they're kind of dangerous. There's also the fact that, like, DD, big boy, so he's going to find himself victim to plenty of combos. Yeah, and I, I like that new back animation a lot. It just it just screams like DDD, you know? It doesn't look very similar to his uh, fair either. Like, DDD received plenty of blood coming into this game. Yeah, I know. It's, it's great. DDD is such a funny character. Yeah, he's a good quality character. <laughs> but, uh, of course, Ike playing no games. He fights for his friends, man. How could yeah, he? No. So, not content with uh, not winning doubles. Also not content with the fact that he's in uh, uh, the loser side of this pool to make oh, that's it out. right. Who put him in the losers, you know? Um, I might be able to double check real quick, but I am actually not too certain myself. Unknown, Shit, that's unknown. right. Oh, that's right, unknown. Yeah, unknown, like, wild out when he was trying to uh, take out town. Yeah, unknown didn't get the um, best scene today. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's why I wouldn't even call that an upset. So, it's so only him. But, um, these yeah, confirmed. Wasn't unknown, were... like, one of, like, the top seven or eight players in New Jersey? Yeah, he was up there. He, he had some peaks. He, he, has, he had really good results in Smash Bros. But, turn the action here for what we've got. Uh, it's it's still DDD. Like, yeah. yes, he is big. Yes, he's comboable, and yes, his recovery is incredibly linear. But like, a lot of his aerials allow him to at least go for trades now, and he's still yeah. got pack a wallop when he does hit. Yeah, when he hits you, he makes it certain that you are taking a lot of damage. That right there, it looked like twenty something percent. Not gonna have the the same kill throws he had last last game. So around the line is his ledge trapping skills and his nair to up air confirm. Yeah, getting nair into either back air or up air is gonna give him a good amount of variety as far as like how's he gonna confirm the kill. Not dead yet, but that up air is gonna yeah. seal the deal. Helper looking pretty frustrated with that one, but you can't let that get inside your own head. I fight for my friends. He said the thing. He said the thing. Uh, I didn't want to say it, but he said Yeah, the he said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so coming into game he two. I'm so seriously. Yeah, no, yeah. When he's, this is new to me. No, yeah, when he's uh, Radiant Dawn Ike, there is no goofing around. It is, my friends are fought for. <laughs> I don't hear any difference between his voices. I I don't know. You I don't know the Brawl one. I fight for my friends. I yeah, play he's, Brawl. I played Brawl as a kid. He's a lot a lighter. Baby. <laughs> we baby bunk easy. <laughs> Where are we go? Wait, wait, Richter. Richter. Okay. Uh, on Lyolat, this is actually a really interesting choice, I feel, mostly, because... Oh, uh, God, this just looks so... Already 41, this looks so scary on a Lyolat, especially. I feel I, like this is going to work wonders for Helper. It's a gross combination, because Holy Water and Axe are going to cover a tremendous amount of space. And then if Helper is able to just box out and hold the center uh, portion of Lilac, it's going to be a constant struggle for so just to get somewhere to land properly. Yeah. And it seems like on both ends, it really comes down to how well both players can hold this advantage state. Because both these characters on, in the air or on ledge, they struggle a lot. Especially Richter. Not going to get the uh, the crucial ledge snap there with the fair 
That was at a proper distance, too. I'm actually curious if that was the stage that resulted in him not snapping. It didn't look like it was proper distance to me, just because it looked like he was a bit too low. He, he can't snap with up there, can he? What? He, he can. Oh my up god. Up air, back air, and forward air have an incredible tether distance. Wow, that is great for him. Because his recovery is just so Oh no, yeah. His uppercut, as I tell people, is, is not his recovery move. <laughs> it is an out of shield reversal no, option. Nope, it's an aerial move. The That's so just rude. There it is. There's the other. There's the other you're talking about. <laughs> All right. That's a free. Nope. <laughs> he went for the photo. If he went for the, he actually just cut an axe in half with the sword. That's kind of right, crazy. So get these punches, dude. Zone is like playing with his food at this point. He's punishing the like like the small stuff, but not the crucial stuff. And I like that up tilt a lot. That was so smart. Reading the recovery onto stage. I'm gonna catch it with an up tilt. Not gonna find the kill though. That's a free kill. There it is. Up tilt looking so bad for help right now. Because Richter, when he's down, is just. It, it's like so. It doesn't work with him well. Because he needs to have a lead. He thrives off of having a lead. He's down two stops right now. Yeah, the way that the Belmont's kid is established is like they're not they're not very well meant for getting aggro with their projectiles. They hold the zone very well, but they can't really move forward with that zone. And I feel especially so on Lilac Cruise because as you've noticed, Helper has not been using cross a lot, and that's because due to the angle of the ship, he can't use cross from the wings. Yeah, which goes like we were just talking about earlier how we think this is be so good for Richter, but maybe there's a few things we didn't talk about yet. So like Take note about how much Axe and Holy Water have been used. They come out at an arc, and they don't particularly care about the layout of the stage. Cross, however, it, is, it needs a clear space to fly. So we're seeing Helper use it sparsely, but there's just no there's no room for him to breathe at all. Sony just didn't step <laughs> off him. And Sony is going to advance in today's bracket with a very brutal 2-0. Uh, I, I, I think I might play him next, actually. Or not like, like next, but like in uh, top 24. Yeah, I have notes now. Top okay. 24. <laughs>